Coffee.com. Cooking with Emma is back. I moved, I have a new kitchen, and I wanna use it. I also have been seeing all of these things recently that I really wanna cook. I never get super excited about cooking, like that's not something that excites me, but at the same time, sometimes I see things and I'm like, I really, really wanna know if I could make that. And we're cooking two things. Number one, cheese board. Yes, I printed out a photo. I printed out a photo, that's kind of embarrassing that I did that, isn't it? A vegan cheese board, which is probably gonna go absolutely terribly, but whatever. I'm also cooking spicy pasta. You know the like famous pasta that like everybody talks about? I feel like in the past with cooking with Emma, I hated it because I was like, I was setting myself up for failure. I never prepared well enough. The recipes always were a flop. Everything bad happened. And that was what was fun about it. But guess what? I am growing up and it's time for me to learn how to cook because I'm starting to feel bad about myself because I'm almost in my 20s. So first we're making a cheese board. To be honest, the reason why we're making the cheese board first is because I literally don't think that I can do a full comprehensive cooking experience yet. It's like literally 10 in the morning, like I'm not ready for that yet. This cheese is very scary. Um, I got all vegan cheeses. Mm. Ew, there's liquid. Oh, this is not. And this is going straight. Actually, it kind of tastes good. Honestly, I should have just bought normal cheese and like had diarrhea. Like it probably, like I don't know why I didn't just do that, but I'm taking some vegan Gouda that actually smells pretty accurate, so that's exciting. Let me put some over here, one here. Okay, I've actually come to the conclusion that vegan cheese is like not, it's actually not good. I should have just made like a fucking fruit plate. Ew. Like what, who the fuck? Oh, I made a big mistake. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Oh, this one smells actually really good. I always see them use preserves. So I'm just gonna put the, I'm just gonna put that on here. Cause I don't have any like little bowls or anything. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put the whole fucking jar. But that kind of ruins the surface level here. Do I have any little bowls? I mean, I don't, I really don't. Anyway, let's talk about our feelings. I woke up at six in the morning and now I'm exhausted. But now I'm making a cheese board. So it's like my fucking energy is all coming back as I'm making this cheese board. So that's good news. I am exhausted though. Oh my God, this already looks really good. This already looks really good, guys. This is perfect. If you guys are throwing a party. These are the things I get excited about now that I'm now in my older age. A uh, cracker medley. How do I make that look pretty though? Wait, why does this, this, they didn't even have crackers really on. Plant-based hickory smoked meat. We're gonna add that. I also have period cramps and they're shooting down my leg. It's making it very hard for me to focus. Oh, this is perfect. I'm trying to make this look pretty. Like, I... oh wow. Y'all, I'm about to flex this shit on my story, on my Instagram story. Let's do some nuts. Definitely not the best thing I've ever done, but it's also, it's better than I expected. Okay, we're putting all, Oh my God, those olives are so amazing to me. Oh my God, guys, these olives are so good. Oh my God, wow. Got some bread sticks. Oh wait, these are Parmesan bread sticks. Well, there went my non-dairy approach. Okay, these are too long. Oh, <gasps> awesome. Oh, okay, I got these dried apricots. Apricots, apricots. Wait, this looks so good, guys. Wait, I have two, oh my God, look at this. Honey, I'm mainly really excited to make this pasta. I mean, this like cheese board was fun and everything and it looks really good and I can't wait to like brag about it and be like, aw, you think you have your life together? Well, check out my fucking cheese board and grow up. Okay, I think I'm done with my board. How did I do? I honestly think I did kind of good. <laughs> Before we start making the pasta, because obviously that's like the main point of this whole video, I do want to try some of these weird, scary vegan cheeses. This one's a chive flavor. It's kind of good, but there's something off about it. Whatever, now I'm trying the sun-dried tomato one. Sun-dried tomato was pretty good. Last, we're trying the mozzarella. No. Why does the mozzarella taste like a campfire? No, mozzarella is awful. Why do people put jam on the cheese? Like, why, why is there preserves on the cheese board? I always see people do that, and I don't understand why. So today, I'm gonna find out why. And I'm gonna mix a little bit of that with a little bit of the vegan Gouda on. Mm-hmm. I can totally see why that makes sense. I feel very exquisite right now. Now that we're warmed up, I feel like now I'm like warmed up enough to try to make this pasta. I do kind of want to try this chive cheese again. That was, oh my God, and the olive. I 
I don't recommend putting that many olives in your mouth at once. I just looked at my cheese board again. Like I kind of like took my eyes off of it and then I looked back at it and I was like, wait a minute. She's kind of gorgeous. I mean, I don't want to be that guy, but like she kind of is hot. <coughs> All I did was make a cheese board. I didn't even fucking turn on my burner. And I already made a complete mess in my home. I guess it's time to start on our pasta. Um, spicy rigatoni with a secret ingredient that I can't put on the internet. I haven't been cooking in this house yet. Okay, so they told me to turn my heat on low. Step one. Easy. We should rename Cooking with Emma to Cooking with Emma All Grown Up. Like before it was like, oh, so cute. Emma can't do anything right. But now it's like, wait, Emma All Grown Up. Maybe she can cook now. <laughs> vegan butter. Oh, this is also vegan. So this could make it really gross. We'll see. Do I even have a cutting board? We have a problem. I used my cutting board for the cheese. So now, for the cheese board, so now I'm fucked. Wait, I just realized I don't know how to dice an onion. So I do have this mini cutting board. What happened? Come over here. Oh no, I'm gonna start crying. Oh no, my onion! Nobody's ever been like, oh Emma, it's time for you to chop an onion. So like, I've never done this. How do I do this? Ow! <laughs> that is the best thumbnail I've ever taken in my life. How do you fucking cut an onion? There we go. Oh, Y'all, this looks so bad. Y'all, I'm not even kidding. Like, I'm not, I really wanted this to be good today, but I just don't have the, like, how do I cut an onion? Oh my God. Literally Gordon Ramsay would not be okay with this at all. I'm fucking crying. There are some massive pieces, but whatever. Okay, we're throwing this into the pan. Onion half number one. Mmm. Yum. Wait, look how much better I'm doing. Oh, guys, I'm evolving. Half of this is gonna be like cooked and then the other half won't, but whatever. Three garlic cloves. It smells so strong to me. I got these pre, this is amazing. See, they're like pre, it's awesome. Oh my God, I need to start cooking my pasta. I haven't even thought about that. If something says to saute, does that mean that you need to use oil? I mean, I guess, like, cause it told me to cook the pepper flakes and the garlic, but it didn't tell me to use any oil, but I feel like I need oil, so I'm just gonna put a little bit in. Kind of do my own thing. Here's the garlic, awesome. Oh my God, I have two burners on at once and I'm about to start my third. Guys, I am evolving. We got this pan going on. Oh my God, this pan. Wait, this is bad. I feel like this is burning. Wait, I feel really amazing now about myself. I've never used more than one burner at once in my entire life. Salting my water. Okay, this is definitely cooking with Emma gone, gone adult version. No, my fucking stove does this sometimes. Sometimes my stove just like turns off and starts beeping and it literally just did that and I thought I was gonna lose my mind. It told me to saute this garlic and that is what I'm doing but I don't know what sauteing means so let's look up. Oh my God, I'm getting, oh my God, I have a call right now. Like a business call, fuck. This is not real, I'm literally mid cooking. Uh, I need to take, oh, this is so good. Hi, you ready? I'm ready. I totally forgot that I had a call. And so I literally had to just take that and turn off the stove and go outside. And to make matters worse, my connection in my home is so bad that the call kept dropping every five seconds. I mean, it was an experience, but I definitely got my adrenaline pumping, so I'm feeling that. They said to cook my pasta al dente. Don't know what that means. Time to throw on the pasta now. Throw this in here. I feel like I've had like seven different moods throughout this video. Like I think I started this video and I was kind of in a bad mood. Uh, so sorry about that in advance. Uh, what if I opened a vegan Italian restaurant? I wonder if that exists. Fuck. I have to add a secret ingredient that's illegal. So give me a second. If anybody asks, this is water. Oh fuck, I'm making a big mess. Wait, that's a lot of liquid. Okay, I'm supposed to simmer it for 20 minutes. If this works though, this is like, I'm really on my wifey shit if this works. I still am like having flashbacks to when I was cutting that onion. I mean, I feel sick to my stomach thinking about me cutting that onion. You know, like, oh my God, that scared the shit out of me. Okay, so I'm supposed to drain the pasta. I'm supposed to save some of the pasta water. So let me get some of that. Okay, here's 
pasta water. Don't know what that does, but okay. I'd bring you guys with me, but I don't think you care enough about me straining pasta, so anyway. Honestly, working with Mer most Mer Mer Working with multiple burners is like stressful in the beginning, but I feel like I like, I feel like I kind of took it like a champ. It wasn't that bad. The thing that I am really upset about though is how many dishes cooking makes. This is like, I'm gonna be cleaning my kitchen for the next three days. Okay, it's starting to be less soupy. It's still really soupy though. I'm just gonna trust the process. <laughs> if somebody cooks something for me and I hate it, like I can lie and like that's fine. But like, I don't want other people to feel like they have to lie to me. I like being the liar in that situation. That's also why I hate giving gifts. I don't want somebody to feel like they have to like fake like what I got them. That's also why I've always been a very avid user of gift cards. Also, just in case you forgot, why don't you look at my cheese board? Are you kidding? I am fully confident that if I made a cheese board, everybody would like it. So I might start doing that. I mean, I wouldn't use this vegan cheese again because I feel like this would be, if I made this cheese board and everybody was like, oh my God, awesome cheese board and then they started to dig in and they realized that all the cheese was fake, I think they would all start crying. I think I'm supposed to add a little bit of the pasta water to the sauce, but I don't think it's time yet because the sauce looks like it's literally, it's pure liquid right now. I'll see you guys when the pasta's done. We have a problem. The sauce has these big tomato chunks in it. My solution and the only one that I can think of is putting it in the blender. Oh my God. <laughs> that looks so much better. I'm gonna play, I'll see you in a sec. I'm too overwhelmed. Goodbye. I'm done. So I think it's safe to say that this cheese board is fucking flawless. As for the pasta, it doesn't look as good. Um. I can't stop eating it, but I don't know if I like it. It tastes nothing, nothing like the spicy rigatoni I've had, but at the same time, I'm kind of enjoying the flavor. I mean, I ate all of it. With the amount of effort I put in, I was expecting restaurant quality. That's not what I got here. This is not something that would be served at a restaurant. It's not that good. It's not awful, but I feel like I could have just used a pre-made pesto or a pre-made sauce. Oh, that's the... A pre-made spicy sauce. So anyway, I'm gonna go dream about this cheese board and not eat any of it because I don't want to ruin it. Me and my cheese board are gonna go make out in my backyard. That's, you know what, should I say that on the internet? Me and my cheese board are gonna go elope. <laughs> Bye. See ya. More like I'm gonna be cleaning the kitchen for the next six hours. Okay, bye.